Uh, God is the personification of all that which makes life, wonderful life, achievable. Um, who are we? We are part of that. We're his children. We take part in the creativity because we're of him, you see, and therefore eternal too. If I might give a sort of analogy, um, the car is an entirety. Um, no single part of it is that useful unless all the other parts are working. Um, it's... Um, you know, it's adversely influenced by the lack of any one part. We don't worship any one part. We value the whole car. So it is that we value all of heaven. The primal creator, God, and all of us, members of the heavenly host, the heavenly family. We actually value all that is because all that is in, if you like, all existences, all universes are there to contribute to this loveliness. So we as individuals direct others to the overall wonderfulness of heaven for it is the place where you enjoy fully eternal life, whereas the universe is um, as displayed by this one here, for instance, a contribute to it in being this one as a classroom. Perhaps all the others are classrooms, um, in some sense, uh, that lead to the whole. We value the whole, you see. And we don't direct God to, sorry, we don't direct other people to ourselves. We, we direct, it, direct them to God, the whole, the founder, the creator of all. Um, the overall wonderfulness of God who is also in all of us, but the fullness of God is the fullness of God, which is him and all his family, which is our God and all the family of heaven. All beings, all. So, if you talk to me or someone like me, you, you don't you don't detect specifically any one source other than God the Father. I'm relating to Him. I've been influenced, of course, by many of the children, um, many of the spirits, as uh, evidenced in, say, scripture or writings, history, whatever you like to call it, <laughs> recordings now. Um, Yes, influenced by them. Um, but my devotion is not to them. It's clear that my devotion is to God. But that's what I understand by 
the first commandment, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, or rather the first principle as I understand it to be. The focus of all is always on God. We've enjoyed the contribution of, and continue to enjoy, the contribution of all, all actually. Some of the family we relate to more than others, and we mention their name more than others, if names they have. All we know is that we're so blessed. And it's because of our wonderful God, our Dad. And by no, I, I do mean with the uncertainty of, I mean trust, of course. I choose to trust and imagine and feel greatly from, confirmed in doing that by the wonderful outcome that such as seem to bring the joy and the peace, the love that flows through us, the happiness, the contentment, the fulfillment, life. I'm come that you might have life. How wonderful. Love your dad. Love your dad for the all, for you, for all you are, for your loving kindness to us, that we might live and have your loveliness and joy and life with you. Love you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. So in summary, no matter how much I relate to any individual or person, spirit, it's still in my heart that it's been possible because of God, our Dad, our Heavenly Father. Our devotion is to Him, our appreciation, our thankfulness really goes back to him always. Lovely dad. Love you, dad. Thank you, heavenly dad.